This is just a quick video if you got a K car and you can't get the drum off. Don't beat it. They, no one sells this hub anymore. So if you bend it, you're gonna have serious problems. So if you got a K car or two, this is what you do. Go online, order a 5.8 hole saw. And what you do is you put it over the studs, a lot of juice, and you drill out the staking. The problem is from the factory, they staked the drums onto the studs. As you see here, I got four of them drilled out. And if you look, the drum's coming loose. And I've owned a lot of these cars, and it was always a mess doing rear brakes. But you see this? The 5.8, the, five eight, the the brand on this one is uh, Morse. It's on Amazon for like eight bucks or ten bucks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the last one so you can see it. Because I've always had issues with this, and there's different methods, but this seems easy. And it hasn't damaged the studs. See, I can still get the lug nuts on, so you won't ruin the studs as long as you use a decent amount of oil. And when you're drilling into metal, you want to use slow speed, but a lot of pressure. So, let's see if I get the drum to stop moving. So I'm not going very fast. And once the bit starts smoking, you want to put more oil on it. if that's enough. Slightly put a screwdriver in here and twist. Mm, it looks like it might be. Yep, there it is. Looks like it's coming off. The reason I'm changing the drum is I went to adjust the brakes and I couldn't get the adjuster to move so I had to take the entire hub off and I tried banging the drum so I warped it by hitting it. These are very thin so don't bang them. Just do this method and look. This looks good. Go on Amazon, get a new one. This one's a uh, AC Delco. I think it costs like 10 bucks free shipping. So I'm just gonna test fit it. You should spray the inside of the drum with brake parts cleaner. They coat these in oil so they don't rust. I'm just gonna test fit it. Because this is obviously the cheapest drum you can buy online. So let's see if it fits. It fits. Look at that. Didn't even have to adjust the brakes. There we go. Because this, this one, yeah, it's, you can see the surface here is very thin, so if you hammer on that, you're definitely going to bend the drum. Actually, you can see it, it looks crooked, so, you know, this one probably wasn't even that bad. I don't see much of a lip, but it was making a rubbing sound, so we'll go test drive it, but, yeah, if you got one of these, 5-8 hole saw bit. Let's see if it, why is it up to that? 5-8 hole saw bit. And just run it on there and you're good to go.